Hello friends, former colleagues, and fellow workforce professionals. For those of you who don't know my face, my name is Jaime Abetia. Until April of this year, I worked at the Upper Rio Grande. I joined the Upper Rio Grande as a temporary employee, but aside from my title, I joined the Upper Rio Grande to effect positive change in the workforce system. As you may know, the last year has seen many changes in the Upper Rio Grande workforce system. Some good, some not so good some downright questionable. I, along with several other current and former employees, have been trying to continue the struggle to affect positive change in the operation of the Upper Rio Grande workforce system. We've attempted to follow the established protocols set forth by the Upper Rio Grande to provide input to the board and get answers to important questions. We've been successful in gathering some information, but we've been unsuccessful in gathering some of the most critical information. This was due to the lack of the cooperation of Lorenzo Reyes and a couple of members of the board. As a result, we've decided to pursue other avenues to effect positive change in the workforce system. Many of you heard the remarks I recently made on the Paul Strelzen Show, which can be downloaded from this site after the video ends. During the show, I made it a point to be clear about my criticisms, questions, and concerns. We've been there with you. We know what it's like to have to have a thankless job and then be criticized by your own CEO. We know how hard you all work and how uncertain you've all been due to the environment that's been created over the last year. As I said during the show, there are a lot of good people doing great things at the Upper Rio Grande and the workforce centers. But it has come to my attention that the CEO of the Upper Rio Grande, Lorenzo Reyes, has attempted to mislead you during recent meetings with the staff by stating that my remarks and criticisms were aimed at the Workforce Center staff. Mr. Reyes further attempted to arouse you all to anger towards me by saying that you should be mad and upset that I challenge the integrity of many people. Mr. Reyes said that the statements will be addressed, but there will not be a debate about who's right and who's wrong. He was just going to state the facts. Well, the Upper Rio Grande was scheduled to appear on the Paul Strelzen show on August the 14th, but they have since canceled. So in that spirit, I thought that I should state some facts to you all. Fact. My concerns and criticisms were directed specifically to Mr. Reyes and Ms. Marmolejo. Again, when this video concludes, you'll have the opportunity to download the radio interview and listen for yourselves. Fact. I challenged no one's integrity. I just ask questions that Mr. Reyes appears to be reluctant to answer. This begs the question of why Mr. Reyes has repeatedly passed on the opportunity to answer those questions. Fact. His statement to you all in the meeting was simply inconsistent with the truth. What Mr. Reyes doesn't know is that many of the questions and concerns we've attempted to raise have come from you all, the hardworking employees of the Upper Rio Grande. He doesn't know of all the phone calls and emails you have sent to us requesting assistance because you fear retribution. Mr. Reyes continues to deny that morale is an issue among Workforce Center staff. For those of you who attended the Brown Bag Forum held at the Loma Land office by Ms. Marmolejo back in April, you will remember that she identified morale as an issue. And that was the whole reason for having that meeting in the first place. This is only one of many issues you have asked us to address on your behalf. Finally, the most important issue Mr. Reyes has failed to communicate to staff this last week was that according to the minutes of a special meeting of the Executive Committee held on July the 20th, the Board is now taking what we believe to be an adversarial posture towards the Texas Workforce Commission in a dispute about performance. The Board asserts that the Texas Workforce Commission is undergoing a change in leadership and wants to take back control of the workforce boards because it feels that some of the workforce boards are dysfunctional. Ultimately, TWC's position is that the Upper Rio Grande work is taking far too long in procuring a contract for a career center operator. But doesn't this seem alarming? Why wouldn't Mr. Reyes communicate this with his staff as he did with the sanctions? In fact, why hasn't he addressed the staff during the previous sanctions? This is why I and others continue to fight to improve the workforce system. 
I encourage all employees to stand up for what they believe in and challenge these issues at hand. What is to become of the Upper Rio Grande you work so hard for? I would like to ask Mr. Reyes to read the Pledge of Excellence that he authored a year ago and hung around the workforce centers. He talks about ethics, values, and accountability. Maybe Mr. Reyes needs to reread that pledge and uphold the values he expects you to uphold. Personally, many others as well as myself think it's time for a change in executive leadership. In conclusion, we will continue to strive to affect positive change in the workforce system. We ask that you all continue to do the great job that you're doing and continue to serve clients who are looking for your professionalism and expertise. If you or someone you know has a question or a concern, watch the end of this video for an email address to contact for more information. Until then, juntos y adelante.